Yay! Okay. Hello guys, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada and today we've got a different look going on. I wanted to go ahead and shout out this brand called Rhapsody Wraps. Go ahead and check them out. They're amazing. They sent me two prints. You can wear it a million different ways. I just love it so much. It just gives me a different vibe and I like it. So if you clicked on this video, you are probably wondering how you are going to make money doing something that you love. That is a topic that is so, so, so important to me and something that I try and live by all the time. I think it's safe to say that everyone wants to make money doing something that they love. Whether if that is content creating or becoming whatever you want to become, I know everyone wants to just make money doing something that they love. And you're probably like, Jada, how do I even do that? I've got a whole video for you. I am so excited to be bringing you guys this video today because this is just something that I'm super passionate about. I feel like I've been making money doing what I love for so long and there's no reason as to why anybody should not be making money doing what they love. It's freaking 2020 for crying out loud. We already know that everything's been switching up. Everything's gone technology based, digital based sharing on social media based and there's no reason as to why you aren't doing what you love and not making money doing it I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some backstory there's a video that I created a couple of months ago with ways on how to make money as a teen ways to make money online whatever be sure to check that out I'll leave that up here because I kind of explain some of the side hustles slash businesses that I've started and I'm gonna kind of just run through that really quickly in this video ever since I've been in school I feel like at a very young age as young as third grade. I've always wanted to just make money doing something that I love. I was always Googling things about like how to like make money in school. And I was a little hustler in school to say the least. Is that illegal? I would make money in school in third grade and I would draw pictures for people and I would sell them for a dollar here, two dollars here, another dollar here, three dollars here. And I remember coming home one day with about 40 something dollars and I got so excited. Like that to a third grader is like winning the lottery i hope you understand i've been making businesses and creating businesses since i've been young i even sold rainbow loom bracelets oh my god i did so much now that i think about it i actually really did do a lot of that whole thing um i also low-key i don't recommend doing this but i like sold homework look if you're already gonna ask to cheat on my homework i might as well just charge you for it so that's what i did Anyway, now fast forward into middle school and high school, I started a dance class business as well as YouTube, as well as now I podcast and I just do so many things and I feel that it's so attainable these days. There's no reason as to why you can't be doing what you love. There's no reason at all. You have to find the time and energy to invest into what you love. You just have to. Otherwise, you're never gonna do it and it's always gonna be some far-fetched dream. First of all, find something that you are good at. It can be anything. I watched this video today um, about this guy who was also talking about how to make money doing what you love just to kind of see what other people were telling other people. And it was so funny because he was like, literally, if your only skill is talking shit about people, make money talking shit about people. If your only skill is being funny, like be funny, like make money off of being a comedian. Like if your only skill is editing, find people to edit videos for. You can make money out of literally anything. Like I'm gonna think of something hella random right now. Let's see, I'm gonna look outside. If I wanted to do like tree photography or like fruit photography for like a small strawberry farm business, I can do that. Like you guys have just got to get creative. And I think that people think that these days, if you're a business owner or like an entrepreneur, you have to start like a six figure business or you have to have millions of views on YouTube. And that's so far from the truth. You really have to just dig down deep and just find something that you are talented at. So that's step number one, literally find something that you're good at. So for me, I know that I am very good at conveying things to people. I'm good at talking to people. I also love performing and acting and dancing and singing and all of that kind of stuff. You guys already know that if you're OG subscribers, but if you're not subscribed already, I guess this is the time to plug it, subscribe. The next thing that I wanted to go ahead and say is that this video is sponsored by myself. Yes, I figured out that I should just sponsor myself in this video. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and announce my new course that I'm launching that I'm so excited to launch. If you guys watch my video, the video that I was talking about earlier a couple of months back, I was working with the company called Creator Cash and basically they're a new app, new company, new business. And basically they just want creators to get paid. Creator Cash is launching a new feature with their app and I'm like the first person to use it. So I'm so excited. But if you guys want to 
start selling things as well and monetizing off of your own creations and whatnot. In the near future, you guys will be also able to use their store feature in their app and you guys will be able to sell stuff to your people as well. A couple of months back, I actually tried to release a course called How to Start a YouTube Channel and it was this whole course on like really breaking down all of the nitty gritty things as to how to start a channel. I was just not in a good mental space at all. All of my customers, I gave them refunds. I didn't even do it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put this to the side until I feel ready. And flash forward now, it's now October. Creator Cash's team just reached back out to me and was like, Jada, I really think that this is a good time to release your courses again. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm not sure. And I don't know, I wasn't really passionate about the whole start a YouTube channel thing because I realized that not everyone wants to do that. I wanted to make this course really accessible to anybody, anybody who wants to create something, anybody who wants to potentially start a business or just become in control of their own life. That is something that I am very knowledgeable in. And I know that I can just get you straight on the path to success. I just know it. And I know that if we work together, it's going to be a great time anyways. But that being said, I am launching a creator course. And basically it is where I am teaching you guys how to become a creator. Don't mistake my words. A creator isn't just a vlogger. It's not just an Instagrammer. It's not just someone who starts their own business. And it's not someone who just paints pictures. A creator is simply somebody who is in control of their own life. Someone who's willing to create their own life and guide themselves to success. And so many people don't really know how to do that. So many people don't know how to take control of their own life and really steer their life in a direction, in any direction for that matter. And I really just kind of created this course to fit the basic mindset of someone who is just stuck in their job that they don't really like, or maybe not making money doing what they love. Maybe they're doing what they love right now, but not necessarily making money from it. So I really wanted this course to just cover every single aspect of becoming a creator, all the way from what even is a creator to how to shift your mindset from a consumer mindset to a creative mindset, how to pick what you're good at, like literally like really just diving into the nitty gritty thing, you know? So by the time I release this video, this course will be out and the first day that I'm actually doing this, I'm not sure how many times I'm doing this, I literally don't even know, but I do know that next weekend is the first weekend that I'm going to be teaching this. So it'll be Saturday and Sunday, what are those dates? So it's going to be a masterclass and the dates are the 17th and 18th. So you guys are seeing this on the 9th of October and if if you guys are watching it in between that time and want to go ahead and try and purchase this course, I'm making it as cheap as I can make it, cheaper than merch, cheaper than a t-shirt. I just really want it to be accessible to anybody who wants to just take control of their own life and really just change something, like start something that's going to benefit you. And I want to plant those seeds in there for you so that you're on the right path of whatever path that you want to take, you know? So if you guys are interested in that, I will have more information down below. So if you guys want to go ahead and take charge of your own life and start creating and start making something for yourself, yourself join the creator course it's gonna be so so fun and I'm just so excited to be working with you guys I'm going to be definitely having more information on my Instagram so if you guys want more information be sure to check that out on there it'll probably be on a stories highlight with that being said sponsor over Jada's done talking the second tip that I have for monetizing your creations is not to plan too much I feel like so many people get caught up in this whole let me make sure that I have this whole schedule planned out let me make sure that I have all the shots pulled out if you plan so much it's not gonna happen so take those first actionable steps that you can take in order to see some kind of progress and then start planning because I feel like so many people go wrong where it's just like, okay, like I just really want to make sure that I have this YouTube channel planned to the T before I even hit record. And while that may be good, it's also really bad because guess what? Your first video is never going to be great. Neither is your first podcast, your first blog post, your first business. It's just not going to be good, but you learn along the way and you will start to make progress along the way as you begin to plan. But if this is your first time doing something, whether if you want to start your own painting course or photography business, just start doing something. If you want to start a photography business, start taking pictures of people now, whether if that's with your iPhone, just to get some shots and just to see what you're good at. Don't just go ahead and buy a thousand dollar camera and start shooting and then you just give up on it because you don't end up liking it. Don't plan. Don't think about it too much. Really just try and take those first actionable steps so that you're on your way to actually doing something action is key here. You can plan all day, but if you don't hit record, if you don't do the thing, it's just not gonna happen. The next tip that I have is if you're going to make excuses, make excuses to follow your dream, period. If you're going to even make excuses, just make excuses to follow your dream. Don't say that you don't have time to do this or you don't have the money to do this or like whatever. You're creating excuses for yourself when in reality, you should be making excuses that propel your dream forward. If you wanna get into acting and you don't have money for headshots, 
shots or you don't have this or this or this or you don't have a setup find a way ask people who have been in this industry guys instagram's a tool linkedin's a tool you can message people from all over the world and my dms are surely open i answer people all the time whether if it's about acting graduating early any of the things and i'm super super helpful and i'm pretty sure so many other people are helpful as well find someone in your relative realm that you can probably talk to ask them a couple of questions and see what they've done don't necessarily copy it but do use it as a model that is honestly one of the biggest tips that i have because there are so many people i'm just going to go ahead and use the youtube example again but if you want to start a youtube channel reach out to someone who maybe has like 500 subscribers so that they can see kind of how they've started their channel you know there's no point in reaching up to someone who has like a million subscribers and asking them how did you start like you really want to know how the person who's one step ahead of you did it so that you can kind of see you know what to put on your plate so that you're not overwhelming yourself one too many times you just want to do what the biggest person like has and like there's just no reason for that you know you've got to start somewhere and everyone starts at zero no matter with what you do you just kind of got to navigate yourself and see small actionable steps again we're going back to the same topics here and the next tip that i have is to don't wait around there's no point and waiting around right now because the time is now as we've seen this year it's taken a turn for better or for worse we have no idea what is coming within the next couple of months and with that being said take advantage of the now take advantage of this present time there's no time to be like oh i'll start my youtube channel in three months do it now whether if it is the first couple of things that you're doing to plant seeds do it because then you will get a sense of momentum like you're moving forward otherwise you're just going to sit there and things are stagnant and nothing's moving yes we're still in a pandemic yes things are always stacked against us but things are always going to be stacked against you we all have odds that are stacked against us we all have things that should doom us to fail and guess what that can't be the thing that's holding you back it really can't be and when you take a grander look at everything you can see how everything is just actually pretty easily accessible if you're watching this video right now you have technology so you're like 5,000 steps ahead of the game as to someone who doesn't even have that so use what you have first and just create stuff again plugging my creator course again but my creator course is going to definitely show you guys how to just navigate this whole thing it really is all about a mindset shift as slight as it is and as slight as it may sound it really is life-changing when you start to figure out that you are the creator of your own life and that's kind of why i wanted to make that course and why i think it's honestly just going to be beneficial for so many people oh my gosh if you guys decide to take the course or if you guys want to know if you guys want to take the course be sure to dm me i will definitely answer got nothing else to do. There's nothing that you're losing. You're gaining knowledge that you're going to have for forever. And I don't know, I'm just excited to meet you guys. I love seeing your guys' goals and seeing where you guys are gonna take things. Also plugging in this right now, just because I can, vote if you're 18 years and older and you live in the United States vote register to vote do it now there's no reason not to just vote hopefully i didn't ramble and do so many things i just am really passionate about this subject because i hate more than anything seeing such bright people and such you know people who have just so much passion and so much drive for things just not take action like it really just like sits here because i'm like you could be doing this like what if you started now like this is where you'll be in three months like you just you won't even know because you didn't even dare to try hopefully this is inspirational i don't really know where i'm going with all of this <laughs> I think we can have a really good last couple of months of 2020. Just hang in there, guys. Hang in there. And if you guys want to make a life shift right now, this is your sign sending you all the positive vibes. It's going to happen. We're going to make this a great time. And yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I think I'm done. I should stop talking now. Take care and I will see you guys in a future video. Bye. Can I do that? No, it literally doesn't. Whatever. Bye.